What is going on, my people? How is everybody doing? And how is everybody prevailing in today, my people? Another banger. Welcome back to another video. And today, I have a very special video for you all today, all right? So today, I'm going to be talking about how to transmute your sexual energy, okay? So what is transmuting your sexual energy, all right? So when it comes to transmuting your sexual energy, instead of you wasting it from like masturbation or through sex, what you do is you allow that, that energy to flow within your body and you cultivate it and you put it towards other things, okay? So instead of me feeling that, that like horniness, I don't allow it to consume me. I don't waste it, okay? I put it towards other things. So I go on a basketball court. Some people might be like, oh, that's kind of weird. You're horny going to the back. It's, the energy that you feel, that horniness that you feel, it just means that you need to be transmuting that energy. You need to be using that energy and go on a court, start hooping and see how you play. Instead of you releasing that into like the sheets or to watching porn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that towards creating a book maybe. So all you're doing is using that energy to do other things, getting that, that urge and that feeling. Instead of you sitting in it and allow it to consume you, you have to flee from that. You have to flee away from that and make sure that you put that energy towards something else that's gonna benefit you. Put it towards anything. Doing push-ups, you know, reading a book, go outside for a walk. Anything you can do to get your body and your mind off it. Because what people don't understand is that when you're trying to get off porn and masturbation addiction, you have to make sure that you're not allowing your mind to think about it. So even if the thought comes, that's the first battle. The first battle is, is, is not stopping masturbation or porn. The first battle is fighting those urges that you have, okay? You have to fight those urges. So in order for you to fight those urges, when the urge comes up, instead of you saying, you know what? I'm gonna go watch porn or I'm gonna go masturbate. What you're gonna do, go take a cold shower. I guarantee you, if you feel like you wanna watch the sights and start jerking off, you jump in a cold shower, <laughs> there's no way that you're gonna be thinking about watching at or playing with yourself. There's no way. Take cold showers. That's a good way to transmute your energy, my people, all right? Whoever it is, men or, or women, I'm trying to help everybody, okay? Because I'm a survivor in this. Yes, I feel like I am. Cold showers is great. It relaxes you, it keeps your body you know, chilled and, and pumped up to where you won't really be thinking about that. You be thinking about watching some porn, you jump in a cold shower, there's no way that you're gonna be able to like, be like, you know what? I think I wanna do this. You're not gonna wanna do that. There's no way. Work out. Work out every day. You don't have to be in a gym every day, but do some type of form of, of exercise. The minute you feel that urge, you don't sit in it. Don't sit in it and try to beat it. You're not going to beat it, okay? You're not going to beat it. The only time that you're gonna beat the urge is when you don't have the urge. That's the only way, because you don't have to fight against it. Once you have that urge, you must get up out of wherever you're doing. If you're home alone, cannot do that. Be around people, go outside, go for walks. Do not let it consume your mind, because if you try to fight that urge, you're going to relapse and you're gonna watch the sights. Okay, especially if you're on long streets. If you're on a long street, you're going to relapse. I'm telling you this now. So please make sure that you are not sitting in them urges. I'm telling you, there's times that I'm like, you know what? I'm strong enough. I got it. I got my own strength and I relapsed, you know, or that, that urge made me watch porn for hours and I didn't even get certain things done that I was supposed to get done. You don't want to sit in it. You transmute your energy. I said your energy. You transmute, to transmute your energy, you literally, instead of you wasting it, lustful things, porn, sex, all you're doing is saying, you know what? I'm gonna put this energy towards something better. It, it, it could be anything. You going out for a walk. You just, you're jumping up and down doing jumping jacks. It's not falling into that urge putting that urge and energy into something else so whenever you feel it and yes it be strong you have to fight it you don't fight it by just sitting in there and say i could do this i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna fat no you fight it by replacing that sexual act with something 
better that's going to give you more long-term benefits because every time you have that urge all you're going to do is fat watch porn it's going to deplete you it's going to make you drain that's all it's going to do to you it's not going to benefit you long term so all you need to do is make sure that you are substituting it you got to keep doing it and before you know it you're going to realize wow I, I don't think about masturbation anymore i don't think about porn anymore your mind is not going to be the same because the reason why you keep fapping and having porn is because one you got hooked onto the addiction. Once you got hooked onto the addiction, your brain started rewiring to continue that addiction to where now it's gonna seem weird if you don't masturbate every day or if you don't watch porn every day. So you have to rewire your mind. Your mind has to be rewired. You have to make sure that you focus on changing those habits. You gotta keep doing that. Some people say, oh, how long it takes? Hey, who knows? I just realized, like last video, I said I hit three years. I'm not watching porn and masturbating. I didn't even know I had it on my phone. It just said, congrats, three years, because I put that I put that in the calendar. You just cannot focus on it. You cannot focus on the urge because your body and your brain is used to you saying, oh, snap, I'm horny. Let me go open my laptop. Let me go on my phone and watch some porn. That's what your brain is used to. You have to teach your brain to do something else when the urges come. And I'm telling you, like where I'm at on this journey, I don't get horny. The only time I might get horny is when I'm with my girl. You know what I'm saying? With a woman. It's not like, it's not like I just walk around all day. Like I don't get horny. That's because my horniness levels is at a very calm and normal state like I was supposed to be. Maybe like in the morning, you know, you get the morning wood. But even with me having the morning wood, I don't do anything with it. I just let it be there, go we'll take a cold shower, or I take my mind off it. Okay, so you have to do that. Make sure that you don't stay in it. If you stay in, if you're always in your room, get about your room. Get more fresh air every single day. It's, it's super hot and nice outside. Just make sure that you're not sitting in it. If you sit in it, you're gonna keep going back. Yeah, my people, man, I hope y'all understood that. I just wanted to help people with that. You gotta transmute that energy. A lot of people hear that word and it throws them off. The easier way to explain it or to say it is substitute the things that you would do when you were horny with something positive and more beneficial. The less that you do from fapping and watching porn, the less horny you'll be. Then you can start working on that scene retention. And then that's something else that you could keep building your energy on. And when you get that normal energy, you're gonna know what to do with it. It's not gonna be like, you know what, I'm horny, I'm about to do this. No, it's a lot better when you decide to not fat and you hold on to that, okay? So it's like I said, it's, it's levels to this, but I don't wanna make this video too, too, too long, but I just wanted to get this out and tell people, transmute your energy. The way that I do it, I'll be doing 100 push-ups every day. So right now, my energy is getting used to being on retention. Before, I was trying to, you know, learn how to get off porn and masturbation. Now that I'm past that, my body is getting used to the, the uh, semen retention lifestyle. So I'll be doing 100 push-ups a day, taking cold showers. I'll be watching things that I eat, but that's going to be in a different video, all right? But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video. If you enjoyed it, just drop a like, comment down below of any more video ideas, I'm telling you. I had that within me. The more that I get closer to God, the more that I want to just free and help people to get out from this. It's, it's that important. But it's like I said, God is my number one source for all of this. And this is the reason why I'm, I'm even able to be on this, this camera and speak to you guys about these things, all right? So appreciate y'all. Y'all take care of yourself and until next time, much.